Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. In today's episode, it is 3.30 p.m., not the start of my day. I've done a little bit of schoolwork ahead of the ahead of the old Monster Train. I had to wait. I wanted to wait a little bit to see if uh, there were actually frame skips in yesterday's episode, and there were, according to the comments. So I will be keeping an eye on it, and if I can figure out what's causing it, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll work it out. I'm not gonna do anything right now, because it may just be like a one-off fluke, but if it's two days in a row, then we'll start to make some changes, and I'll try to do some research. Anyway, how you doing? Hope you're doing well today. I'm doing fine. Hanging in there. Just gonna mute a tab real quick. Got a WhatsApp group chat going off. Uh, not a whole lot to tell you. Had some coffee. Had some pretzels today i'm not a big pretzel fan i'm gonna talk about pretzels as my intro question for you and then there goes a whatsapp notification i just got it on my phone though it's a it's a busy day start of the semester i gotta communicate with a bunch of different people rather exciting i i used to be a lot more like nervous about talking to people but i'm just kind of gotten over it it's weird because I expect it to be uh, difficult, but well, because I haven't really talked to anyone outside of the computer in a while because of that whole uh, you know what, but I don't know, it's not so bad. I just send emails and send messages and go, hey, I, I feel like I have an easier time talking to people if I have a reason to, like, hey, we need to work on this together. When are you free? Uh, when I have no reason to and I just want to talk to someone, I don't know how to start, but necessity, etc, etc. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about today. Let's talk about pretzels. I want to... I, want, I just want to talk about pretzels as a whole, because I feel like as a snack food, it is probably the highest variance. Because you got some really good pretzels, like you got those Snyder's of Hanover pieces with the honey mustard dusting on them. Those are good. Those are very good. And then you got like just regular pretzel rods with salt. And those are fucking, this is just like, I think someone in my chat once called it Civil War era rations, which I think about from time to time. Uh, yeah. And then soft pretzels, I feel like, are universally good, though, is the thing. I'm just, I'm a pretty big hater of hard pretzels. I'm a big soft pretzel fan. It's hard to mess them up, you know? Let me know what you think. What's your pretzel opinions? And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's begin. Uh, oh, one last thing. I started using a new font for the thumbnail. You can also let me know how you feel about that. I did it in yesterday's video. I'm probably going to do it in this one as well. I felt like it was time for a change. Let's begin. We're awoke in exile Stygian. Not a bad combo. Plating Seal Daedalus, Rage Fell, Sap Seraph, Glimmer, Crypt Builder, Preserved Thorns. Good starting cards, good combo. I have no real worries. I think Vapor Funnel, I think. Jack Strips is good, but it doesn't help with the heavies. Vapor Funnel effectively lowers every enemy's HP by 15, which is kind of good, except for enemies with spikes. But that's uh, neither here nor there. I almost want to pick Cultivating in this run. I'm a pretty big hater. I feel like I always want to play Bristling. But, well, aka spikes, but I kind of feel like cultivating makes sense here. Because I can play Animus of Will behind a cultivating sentient, or a Shattered Shell behind a cultivating sentient, something like that. But uh, no, it makes more sense to go Bristling, aka spikes, because I can just play uh, Awoken Hollow. And that's a better cultivator than cultivating sentient. I'm gonna take the Relic. I have, I do have something that works with Split Anvil, but it's not that good. Wingsteel, I'm gonna pick Split Anvil. I feel like Wingsteel has had a lot of times of just screwing me over lately, and Split Anvil, I have a three cost spell in the deck. Wingsteel on paper is very good, it's plus one draw, but I'm starting to agree with the idea that it might actually be not very good. This Invasion Trial is scary. My sentient gets absolutely battered, but I have Glimmer to wipe one of the waves out, and if I'm lucky I'll wipe multiple waves out. This is very greedy, but I think I can get away with it. 
preserves the ones as well. So it makes a lot of sense to play top four. I was going to say maybe we don't play top four, but we have Preserve Thorns to wipe out the first wave, which is the one that does the most damage. And after this, it's like 12 on this wave, and then we're going to take four... It's nine on this wave, and then it's four plus six plus four, I believe. Oh, but I high rolled the clergyman that is going to hit me spawned in the front. We greed for collector, even. If the if the clergyman didn't spawn in the front, I might be a little more worried, but it's a high roll because now it's just eight more damage, which I can heal with restores. This fight's very good. Everything went our, our way. I feel like a lot of times I don't... This is a high roll, and I often don't play into the high rolls, I fear. This is very good. Should play Crypt Builder first, I guess. It wouldn't change anything, though. That's the weird part. I because I wouldn't crypt out of the boss. I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, this is this is a high roll, but a lot of times in this game I feel like I don't play into the high rolls happening. Good, we don't even take any damage. Like, uh, that trial was... I had three answers to that first wave, is why I took it. I didn't- actually, I only thought I had two, I didn't even think about Preserve Thorns. But plus Foregone Power trimming it out, seemed like it was pretty fine. I'm good to take Razor Sharp Edge here. Probably over Steel Enhancer, yeah. Good to pick Crystallis. Strong card at two cost with Split Anvil. And then, I do want Awoken units here. Both are good, but I prefer Awoken just a little bit. Okay, I'm playing Steel Singer today. I was like, yeah, wow, uh, maybe Awoken Hollow? Nah, how about Steel Singer, baby? Steel Singer changes very little about this run, actually. I'm gonna slap a quick on him, I think this is a... Actually, he has a lot of health, you can probably get away with not giving quick and giving, like, double multi-strike. I can probably greed. Quick is good, but it's not crazy. I can re-roll instead and look for the multi-strike. In it's an interesting proposition. I take the guaranteed quick, which is okay, or I re-roll and I take the one and three for multi-strike. I think you go for the high roll, because the quick isn't that important right now. And I high roll. Again, it's good to play into high rolls every now and then, I feel. This is a high roll. I want to do something a little wacky here, which is Spell Chain Restore. So think about it, right? If I draw a hand of a bunch of one-cost cards, I can play Restore and then play Restore again, and the rest of the hand is free. So I get two heals. I could do it with Glimmer as well, but I'm going to do it with Spell Chain Restore. And I'm not going to go too crazy on pack shards here. The last thing I really want for this run is a unit draft trial. Okay. I want Animus of Will. I think that we have already more or less won the run, but now I just want Animus of Will. Steel Singer should go middle floor here so that he has an easier. He'll kill the Reconciler on in turn two, hopefully. And I won't lose so many card draws. I will lose card draws, however. The Spikes Trial hurts my... my man. Just a little bit. Or Armor Trial, not Spikes Trial. It hurts because I don't have as much uh, killing power, or as much drawing power, I should say, to beef up the Steel Singer. Because I'm going to... I, I'm just going to draw a bunch of curses. By the way, keeping a little, keeping a little peek over here. I am so far... Zero frames skipped, which is looking pretty nice. Nice, that actually did kill the... the uh, enemy, the uh, curse. Gets me two more restores. It's good. It wasn't a great first combat, but I still got ten rejuvenates, which is pretty good. I don't need another glimmer. I'm okay, I think. I could take Vine Grasp, but I think I'm just fine. It's okay to take one ping, maybe. Don't need any of these. 
hate Ice Tornado with Foregone Power. Flash Freeze is okay, but I don't need it. Oh, it's the wrong Animus. It's okay, there's still time. I, I should probably... I, I can ensure by taking this Animus of Speed that I will get a useful infusion on this run. However, I have like two more chances. I think that it's a little early. And by taking Animus of Speed, if I draw her first, it becomes a 50-50. And if I draw Animus of Speed first, I'm hurting my overall Steel Singer healing capability. So, let's go left here. Let's look for the high roll. High roll here is second multi-strike. Got him nuts at this game. Got him so good. Now I get a Tiny Stone. That's the next one. And that next piece of the puzzle here, just slap me a Tiny Stone. Oh, this is similarly good. I think that it's probably just a generic plus one space. I don't... I guess plus three space lets me play two of them if it rolls top or bottom floor. I get two on the same floor. Yeah, that's kind of good. I'm down. That makes sense to me. And... I'm good. I don't want to buy anything else at the steel shop. We're very strong. I believe that this run is one, but it's a little early to call it, I would say. Top floor got the space. I'm going to play middle floor Steel Singer. Primary reason is to avoid Ember Drain on this turn. Yeah, here's that here's that spell chain restore game plan all coming together. Could have just played Crypt Builder, I guess, but. I'm not here. I, I guess I still can play Crypt Builder, now that you mention it. It is all Steel Singer, but he is times three. It's a little bit of a shame that I skipped the quick. This is Plating Seal. Yeah, I'm fine. Like, Animus of Speed here is now definitely correct. Animus of Will is only really better if I missed Multi-Strike, but I hit two Multi-Strike, so... You know, it's kind of... kind of fine. It, it doesn't matter a lot. I think that without quick you just have to get healed. This unit has a very large amount of health. He has 120 health. That is pretty much the number that I would say is good enough. Probably... It's, it's like right on the edge. I don't think that this unit will get one shot by anything, but it could happen. Pretty sure he'd be fine though, in almost every situation. A little more healing out. I'm trying to think, is that like the multi strike wave on the divinity can maybe be a problem, but I doubt it. A Wildwood Tome is a good way to hedge your bets here. Sure. There's Animus of Speed, that's fine too. And we take Draw. And we do have, because I skipped out looking for Animus of Will, I do have two rounds without a... Uh, yeah, two rounds without a temple, so I'll just have this Animus of Speed hanging out, but that's okay. I can maybe hit Animus of Will here. That's, that's another Steel Singer. It's, uh, not, it's not very good, but that is another, that is a second Steel Singer. Very nice. Very cool. Uh, minus ones just go to restores, I'm pretty sure. Not the one that has spell chain on it, though. And plus 10 to glimmer makes sense, I think. Go ahead and purge, like, two trainsters. The best thing I can do to make this run stronger now is remove cards that don't heal Steel Singer. Firestone housing. Or regen plus one. Regen plus one is good, but Firestone housing might let me get another multi-strike, which would just be absolutely absurd. One multi-strike, cool. Two multi-strike, high roll. Three multi-strike, uh, mm, that's a lot. I think this trial's fine, because the sentient wipes out most of the enemies. Spikes four doesn't scare me that much. My healing is a little low. And my pack shards are a little high. But, I think we're fine. Again, I'm just gonna play middle floor. Middle floor here is more so because it's party boy. 
I don't really want to let the party boy party too hard. It's gotta be right. Even if I lose the money, it's gotta be right. I don't I don't wanna let Party Boy gain too much passive attack because my health isn't that high. It's high, but it's not high enough. Kill this. My healing's bad too. Any any good healing card gets added to this deck. I think that I could play Is my man gonna die up here? Ooh, a little frightening, isn't it? It's because of the Spikes Trial, for sure. But I have the upgraded Glimmer to help along. Yeah, it's fine. I'll get... I have turns for him to heal. Here. Healing. Steel Singer. Call that Heal Singer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's right. Gotta play Restore. I think you play Razor Sharp as well. Play the Stings down here. Play the Animus down here. She'll do 25. It's a little frightening, though. I need to draw yeah, a Glimmer. And sadly, I have to give it up. I would like to heal the Steel Singer, but I cannot. I might actually die here, which would be pretty wacky. A little gr greeted a little too much. Oh, misplay on the no crit builder here. Oh, it doesn't actually matter. Uh, it does matter, actually. 60 damage makes a pretty big difference here. Yeah, it sure does. I'm alive, but yeah, if I did 60 more damage to him, I would have killed him. It's okay. I'll take 23. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a mistake on my end, but it's okay. I think the trial was a little aggressive, but it is what it is. Hey, it's awake. That's a good healing card. I think Focus Growth is actually a little bit better. It heals five less. You also lose out on the regen, but I don't care that much about the regen, and the trade-off is getting two draw next turn. I like that more. Uh, past this, I don't think I need Drain, Urchin Spines, or Frenzied Swarm here. Frenzied Swarm, it, I don't like it here because it invalidates all the foregone powers. Minus one isn't that important. I'd rather go right. Because you can look for, you can grab minus one focus growth, but it makes everything else in the hand free as is, so I'm fine with it being here. Crane stewards be gone. And we're looking for another multi strike, I believe. Endless incan armor 2 plus 10. Go for the reroll. What a blessed run. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. That's kind of nutty. Give me the, give me the money. It's a little, it's a little frightening to take this money, I think. Yeah, because it could be stealth boss. I will respect the multi-strike. It has been top four every time. Uh, I was going to say I want to play Sentient and uh, Steel Singer together. However, that is not possible here. And Sentient gets fucking torn up by this fight. Sentient gets a little bit bodied. We'll just say it's okay. Not really okay, we'll say it's okay though. I believe in this one I should put the Steel Singer top floor. Yeah. It's a shame I can't play Glimmer. If I, it's like, this is because Animus of Speed is in the deck. If I just committed earlier, I would be in a better spot. I think I might just die right now. But the Steel Seeker's gonna have a lot of health and hopefully will one-shot the boss. So there's some hope. One or two hits on the boss is what I'm hoping for. This might be bad though. Because it's gonna be nine rounds of stealth. Two focus growths is pretty big in a row. My man has a big health bar. That's the good. 84 times four. One, two, three, four. Should kill one of these. Yeah. Let's make sure I remember to play my Crypt Builders this time, though. This time around. 86 times 4. Kills you pretty quick, actually. You're gonna be down two rounds of stealth. I think we'll be okay. 
It is a high attack number in 40... 14? 16? 40. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it just hit me for 40. Uh, hey, does this pass down zero cost? It does not. Okay. Thought it might. I think the Steel Singer is good enough. We also have this Frostbite doing damage. I think it's good enough. Yeah. It's close, though. It's nice because I get all the regen out of it, though. We get max value, but it's a little close. When I removed those train stewards, I did think a little bit about Crystal Cloak. I didn't think about Sycophant Crystal Cloak, though, which is pretty deadly there. Pretty sure I take Ensnare. Ice and Fire. I think I skip. I really feel like I just go all in on the healing options. And now Wildwood Tome becomes irrelevant. However, uh... If I had known I would see Animus of Speed, I probably would have skipped Wildwood Tome, and I would have lost. Wildwood Tome absolutely saved me here. 100% Wildwood Tome saved my life. I respect it. Thank you, Wildwood Tome. Great work. Now we shoot Animus of Speed, put it in the Steel Singer, we make a second one of this unit, and we go nuts. It was a bit of a hairy uh, set of combats, though. I was a little worried I was not going to make it. Down to just make focus growth cost zero. I recognize I'm kind of... Like, I have split anvil, so it's hurting me a little bit, but the card is important to always be able to play. Oh, we're melting wormkin. No awoken. Very sad. I will take... Take Hellhorn. See, the game load for a second before it showed me imp in a box. It's like it really had to think about showing me that imp in a box. I didn't have to think about skipping it, though. Speaking of skipping, still no frames skipped. Good news, everyone. Looks like whatever that problem was yesterday is gone. Glad to see it. I am feeling like my best play is to make cards cost zero right now. We keep, one, we keep the ones that cost two costing two, but I can just make things cost zero. Remove consume, not very good. We reroll into holdover. Holdover focus growth at zero cost. This card's kind of nuts. It's a lot of healing, and it's plus two draw every round for free. Like, it's it's draw positive. Normally, plus one draw is draw neutral, but draw positive because you're drawing two for free. That is a little bit busto. And we're gonna go see Fel. I'm gonna end up over on pack shards. I could go up to 125, I feel pretty comfortably. But Sap Seraph's a little scary. Because my numbers are fixed. Play the Sentient and the Steel Singer together. I feel like this is still fine. Worth a look. I don't think I'm- I guess I'm losing like one round of regen by playing it this way, but it's also one less potential round of rage, which doesn't really matter. I'm mostly doing it to avoid the Ember Drain on the top floor, and I think that that's a fine enough reason, to be honest. Need to think a little more clearly about my order. Like in this position, what I did there is correct, but I need to think more clearly about my uh, card playing order if I ever have more cards in hand. I missed that thing on accident. Yeah, what I'm what I'm trying to say is I need to watch for two cost cards and positions where I want to play Crypt Builder. This is not a position where I want to play Crypt Builder, as you can probably guess, because I want to play this Restore. At the end of the day, it is still better for me to... I could have played the Snare there. Still, it's better for me to get the extra Rejuvenates every turn when I can. This turn, however, I can play the Crypt Builder first. It's, it doesn't matter at this point. Like, it makes no difference, but it's good. A, it's a good habit to be in, because I, I missed it and took 23 on the, on the Party Boy fight. You know. But th this is where we really hit the ground running, so to speak. This is where I'm really pumping up those numbers on the Steel Singer. This combat and the next combat are both big boys. We played three heal cards, or three, uh, not heal cards, but razor sharps on him. So I'm pretty sure I just spiked like 60 attack or something like that. I was 84 going in here, I believe. I got like 40. It's somewhere between 20 and 40 attack in that fight. 
I don't need any of these. Although Deep Offering does have a positive interaction with Split Anvil, I just don't really care about it. And it's definitely energy. I don't need another draw because of the focus growth. I'm already drawing 8 or 9 or even 10 in a turn. One more temple. I'm gonna wait on the duplicate for Steel Singer. I don't think it's right to play 3 Steel Singers because that's 3 turns of paying 3 energy. So I'm going to go left. I'm gonna look for Cheater's Hand maybe. Forever Flame is good. Forever Flame is very good. Extremely good. Yeah. So now if I draw both Steel Singers together, that works too. I was going to look for Cheater's Hand as a way to play both Steel Singers together, but that works as a way to play both Steel Singers together. Just Forever Flame it. I'll pay 25 health for 150 gold. I think that that's probably not a good trade at this stage of the game, but I like money. I'm going to take even more money, and then we're going to spend 15 on... On the duplicate here. Gonna have a nice 120 or even 130 pack shard run. I know I, I tend to not go high on pack shards because I typically don't, I just, I don't really enjoy it. I don't feel like the artificial difficulty increase is that exciting to me. Hmm. A rather interesting conundrum. I think it's best for me to play together bottom floor. I was about to say as well, I was wondering if we were going to uh, ever not be top floor with History of the World. Here it is. Anyway, we play bottom floor here so that Steel Singer kills the higher wings. The potential loss of health is five, but I have drawn Crypt Builder, so it is zero. And now I can play Restore into Crypt Builder, everything goes to zero, into just spamming heals. We were 124 on the lock-in. Trying to keep track of how much I'm gaining for combat. It is an upwards trajectory, for sure. Yeah, I'm not playing these out particularly. I'm not playing perfectly here, and it's okay. I think I'll live. Got a lot of garbage I'd like to remove from this deck. Like, this is... it doesn't really matter because I'm going to reach the end game. Minus three. Oh, because he hits the Steel Wings. I thought I was taking Ember Drain here. I was going to be upset. I could remove, like, three Forgon powers from this deck. I could remove... I could remove a lot. Three Forgon powers. I could remove the Quick Tome. I could remove Crystallis. It's all good. Boss hits twice. Boss hits once. Good stuff. Good stuff. So what did I gain there? Gained about... it was 125. I gained like 33. He's gonna go into the Divinity around 200, which is good. 200 times 4 quick. I think it's strong. I think it's rather good. It's nice to have a run that's kind of a set it and forget it sort of style as well. The only thing I can really hope for here... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, the only thing I can really hope for is uh, History of the World landing not on middle floor. Just take sketches here, though. Yeah, well, uh, two, two different ways that I could have played this run where I could have played three. But, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. Lost luggage? Sure. That's fine. Forgotten Name is actually pretty good here as well. I don't need anything from the Steel Shop, so I'm just... I'm not gonna bother. Value stone plus 10 piercing. I guess I can buy two removals here. I could buy one. One or two. It's two. I can buy two. Two removals is worth. One removal I think is not worth. I'm gonna go ahead and remove one Forgon power. Probably two. Actually, one Forgon power, one Crystallis here. The other idea is Forgotten Name because Forgotten Name makes all my healing a little stronger, which is good, but I have this holdover focus growth, which I think is fine. I think that that's good enough. God, there really were just... It was... It's impossible to miss multi-strike on this run. It's in every steel shop. I could have had four. If there was a way for me to get another upgrade slot, I could have four multi-strike. What a blessed seed. I honestly feel like one thing that I could see being an interesting change to the game is just removing large stone. I don't know how it would really change it. 
It'd be, it'd be, that's why it'd be interesting to see, I suppose. But I think you could get rid of large stone pretty easily and have it be good. Do a thousand damage turn one to the Divinity or to Saraf here. Yeah, I think I would like remove large stone and then I would compensate for it by just increasing the health and attack numbers on the regular upgrades. But be honest with me, when's the last time that you bought a plus plus five or plus ten? Like, when's the last time you bought a battle stone or a? Uh, I mean, the plus twenty fives you buy, right? That is that is something you buy. But when's the last time you bought a plus ten? That's the one I was trying to say. Because for me, it's uh, I don't really know. To be honest with you, I feel like plus ten is a pretty worthless upgrade. Free DL, it was probably actually free DLC that I bought it last. Or like you buy it because you have nothing better to buy, and you're out of steel shops, sort of scenario. The thought, anyway. I don't think it's uh, mission critical for the game or anything like that. The game is still good, but. I gotta think of something to talk about here, you know? I gotta come up with something to say while I pre-roll Endless the Divinity. Not quite a pre-roll Endless, but pretty close. It's just, a, it's just an interesting idea, I feel like. Battlestone, I, you know, I say, when's the last time you bought Battlestone, though? I bought Battlestone last episode, and it wasn't good. I think it was very bad, but... It's just, they, the Battlestone and the plus 10, they were a lot better before the DLC hit, but numbers requirements changed a lot with the DLC. Which is fine, it was a natural progression, I think the Divinity is a good final boss. Don't get me wrong. Uh, just a little thinking to be done, you know? Come on, Seraph. Okay, get in. Holding open the coffin for him. Alright, Seraph, get in. Goodbye. What are we ending at here? Going into the Divinity with... Eh, not actually 200. 188 and 182. It's because I split my healing. I mean, they'll end the Divinity around 200. The 188 one will definitely make it. I'll maybe maybe focus on getting to uh, 200 on the Divinity here on both of these guys. Go next, Cynthia. It is a worthwhile crypt builder. Thought for a second there I overthrew my hand, but I didn't. I realized as well on the divinity here I just need to heal the front unit. I was thinking I was gonna need to heal them both because of sweep, but that is it's not it's not sweep. Also on the divinity here, history of the world rolled middle floor. More proof that history of the world is the worst, and I hate it. That's not true, I think it's alright. I'm gonna try rooting an enemy here. It's pretty bad, I think, because I'm just gonna make the harvest way harder to deal with, but... I root this guy and then I come closer to killing the divinity, so... It's a fun idea. Spend it. It's a lot of armor. <laughs> yeah. I think I made my ability to kill the divinity a little worse overall. No, wait, this whole wave still dies. Never mind. It's all good, I guess. A lot of spikes. Here, let me pull the spikes enemy to the front. If this was the double harvest wave, this would be a lot worse, for sure. But it's not. I can pull the enemy to the front because it's not the double harvest wave as well. Worth noting. The builder goes down. Three away here. I don't think I'm getting a pre relentless at this rate. One, two. Maybe if I ensnare one of these. I'm. I mean, these are choices that are not good. You shouldn't be doing what I'm doing here. It's very bad. But also, give me my freaking pre relentless. Two twelve, two twelve, two twelve, two twelve, and then it's whatever this guy does. This is lethal, right? Yeah, there it is. It was very hard for me to find a way to lose this run, I feel, which is why I wasn't really afraid of uh, rooting enemies like I was. And you saw it, I rooted that- I rooted and pushed that uh, tank to the back of the harvest wave and still killed it. 
My floor had something like 1600 damage split up in eights. Pretty solid, I would say. This, this is a blessed seed. This is the sort of seed that you... I mean, maybe if you just go to Stygian Manors, this runs a lot worse, but... You know. I skipped a total of 15 frames in this episode, which is much different than the... What was it, like, two or 3,000 I had in yesterday's episode? So hopefully that continues being the case. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.